In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an amazing poster design in Photoshop. Grab your mouse as we dive in. So first and foremost, we are going to create a new document. We choose a solid color. We are going to create a new layer. Grab a soft tone brush, right click and change the roundness to normal. We are setting our foreground to white, making the brush bigger by the right bucket key. Then we click once. With the move tool selected, we are going to change the layer blend mode to overlay. This is before and after. We are going to create another solid color. So we copy the, the second hex code. With the layer selected, we are going to change the blend mode to multiply. This is before and after. With the max selected, we grab a soft tone brush. We set, the f we set the opacity at 100 and set the foreground to black. We make the brush bigger by the right bracket key. And we make a few clicks. So first and foremost, we are going to copy this texture. Ctrl C to copy Ctrl V to paste. We right click, we change the blend mode to multiply first. Then with Ctrl T we make it bigger. So we click the check mark to confirm. And we can go for the other items as well. So let's pull this off and we can copy this item. So as always, Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. Once we have that in place, we go for our, the rest of our items. Right click and convert to smart object. So I'm going to position this. So we position it once it's in place. We advance this a bit. So let's grab the test. We are going to position it just this way. Now 
All right, now that we have everything in place, I'm going to apply a school share adjustment layers. So we clip it onto the layer so that if it applies only to the layer with the max selected control I to invert, we grab a soft hand brush, reduce the opacity. And we are going to set the foreground to white. Reduce the opacity a bit. And we're going to paint some shadows. Before and after. I'm going to create another exposure adjustment layer. Clip it onto the layer with the max selected control I to invert. You grab a soft hand brush. And we're going to bring some shadows. We are going to create a curve adjustment layer and clip it onto the layer. Before and after. This layer selected. We are going to create a solid color. So we copy this as code. So we right click and we clip it onto the layer. We check and we change the blend mode to override it. With the max selected that control I to right. Then we grab a soft hand brush. So let's change the solid color first. This I change in the color. All right, we use this as code rather. Okay. With the mark selected, we grab a soft hand brush. We increase the opacity a bit. We set our foreground to white. And we are going to paint. It's very sad, though. You may not see it. We make a copy, Ctrl J to make a copy, and we change the blend mode to linear dot. We delete the layer mask, we right click and clip it onto the layer. We create another max. With the max selected Ctrl I to invert, we grab a soft hand brush. We are going to paint some light. This is before and after. With the layer selected, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer and clip it onto the layer. With the mark selected, Ctrl I to invert. We have a soft hand brush. We are going to paint some shadows. With the layer selected, we are going to create another special adjustment layer. Before and after, with the mark selected, control I to invert. We grab a soft hand brush. Increase the opacity a bit. We are going to paint some shadows. We 
try playing exposure adjustment layers onto this one also. With the max selected control I to invert. We grab a soft hand brush. We set our foreground to white. We zoom in and we are going to paint some sh shadows. In the layer selector, we are going to create another exposure adjustment layer for highlight. Already clipped onto the layer with the max selected control I to invert. And we are going to paint some highlight. We are going to create another exposure adjustment layer already clipped onto the layer with the max selected control I to invert. Then we we'll grab a soft hand brush. We increase the opacity a bit. Then we are going to paint some shadows. We create a new layer. Then we we'll grab a soft tone brush. We're going to make the brush bigger. Right click and change the roundness a bit. We are increasing. We are taking the opacity to 100. Setting the foreground to black. We zoom in. And we are going to create some contact shadows. B for brush. And do we we'll create another one? Undo. All right, this is okay. So we reduce the opacity. We are going to undo. We are going to create another exposure adjustment here. Yeah. This applies to the product already clipped onto the layer with the max selected control I to invert. We grab a soft hand brush. We right click and turn the roundness to normal. And then we are going to paint some shadows down here. We change the foreground to black and we are going to just clean a bit. That's way too much. With this layer selected, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer. Already clipped onto the layer. With the max selected control I to invert. Then we'll grab a soft tone brush. We're going to set our foreground to white. We can just swap between foreground and background by pressing X on the keyboard. So we are going to paint some shadows. This way too much, so we swap and we are going to clean. Before and after. We are going to paste a certain color. Copy this as good. And then we paste. 
So I'm going to change the blend mode to linear dot. Right click on the linear. Go for blending options. Then you are just going to move these sliders a bit. Hold Alt and break the handles. And move the sliders a bit. Click OK. Once that is done, select the mask. Control I to invert. You grab a soft turn brush. You reduce the opacity. You set the foreground to white. Zoom in and we are going to paint some highlight. need to create a layer, a new layer, because we need some contact shadows over here. Right click and change the roundness. So we made the badge bigger by the right bracket key. We increase the opacity. We set the foreground to white, to black, sorry. We have the roundness at 9. We change it to 6. We zoom in and we are going to create some contact shadows. Release the opacity. With this layer selected. You create a new layer just beneath it. You grab a soft on brush. We release it by the left bracket key we click. We click once just to create some contact shadows. Release the opacity. So we are going to create a new layer above all the layers. We copy this as code. Grab a soft arm brush. We are going to paste the S code right here. So that's our foreground kind of be right click and change the roundness to normal. We make the branch bigger by the right bracket key. And we are going to click once. So we are changing the blend mode to overlay. We create another layer. We grab a soft and brush. We set the foreground at white. And we click once. And we are changing the blend mode to overlay as well. So with this layer selected, we reduce the opacity and make it bigger. You can copy this item now. With the layer selected, we are going to create a level adjustment layer on tree. So we clip it onto the layer. Alright, first and foremost with the layer selected, we change the blend mode to screen. We are going to create a max. With the max selected, control I to invert. We grab a soft tone brush. We reduce the opacity a bit. We set it at 27. Our foreground set to white. We are going to paint some back. We measure layers by pressing Ctrl Alt Shift E. Right click and convert to smart object and we go for camera roll. So you can play with these settings until you are satisfied with the result.
This is Big Fine of Takamaro. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope to see you in the next one. Control that. Stay creative.